The William Jack Hernandez Sport Fish Hatchery is intended to create and enhance sport fishing opportunities around the state of Alaska. We produce five species of fish, uh, rainbow trout, king salmon, and silver salmon make up over 80% of our production, and we have smaller numbers of Arctic char and Arctic grayling that are stocked around lakes and saltwater locations in South Central Alaska. It's estimated that our program generates over $20 million annually uh, in economic benefits to the state. There's a great joy and uh, happiness amongst the uh, fishing public that we're able to put out large fish uh, at the beginning of uh, June. I know we're getting a great benefit. This site was a brownfield site and what they call a greyfield site. So greyfield is uh, an area that's been developed previously. And a brownfield site is an area that uh, contains contamination. Right where we're sitting was a, a cooling pond for an old power plant that was run by the, the Air Force Base next door. And this facility is an improvement over the older facilities in a number of ways. A big one is that we're recirculating 95% of the water so we can now afford to heat that smaller amount of water so that we're able to release fish uh, at the same size as we were prior to the closure of the military power plants. You pump less water, less costly, you use less of a valuable resource, the groundwater, and it's treated so when you finally do discharge that small amount, you're treating it and discharging it to Ship Creek with less impact. We basically worked with the owner to take it all the way from concept through final construction, and we were also the, uh, the lead designers as well. Everybody was part of the same team, so it, it was a very productive, um, and the planning meetings were very uh, enjoyable. We had a lot of really smart people in the room, and it was, it, was an, it was an enjoyable thing for me to watch. The client asked lots of questions that pertain to costs, how long is that going to last, is that the correct thing for us to use? So they were focused on a sustainable project from the beginning because, because of the way they approached their work. Dave and I worked together pretty much as, as a uh, coherent team. I was there to basically take Dave's ideas and coordinate them with the very broad and diverse team and uh, see if we could make it a reality, which is, of course came out really very nicely. Paul was the symphony leader for the, for the design group. He's the one who made sure that we had a lot of the right people at the, at the table and coordinating all the different disciplines. Uh, William Jack Hernandez Fish Hatchery is the first ever in Vision Green rating and I really want to stress that the rating itself is just one outcome. It's one way to say you did an excellent job on the project to the owner and to the project team for integrating a broad spectrum of sustainability objectives. ISI is a not-for-profit organization. We were founded by the American Society of Civil Engineers, the American Public Works Association, and the American Council of Engineering Companies. We have a strategic partnership with the Zofnis Program for Sustainable Infrastructure at the Graduate School of Design at Harvard University. The Envision rating system is a scoring system that causes planners and designers and developers and contractors to think about sustainability at every point in the process of putting together infrastructure projects. Envision is important in terms of sustainability because it really addresses a broad range of sustainability issues from economic issues, environment, and people. Envision addresses areas like leadership, quality of life, natural resources, and importantly, especially recently, things like risk, resiliency, and climate change. There are five categories in the Envision rating system. There's quality of life, leadership, resource allocation, natural world, and climate and risk. The Envision process began for us by having a meeting and looking through the Envision uh, credits and figuring out whether this project that was already built and the hatchery was already here, whether this project had enough sustainable features to win an Envision Award. There were 30,000 files for them to find documentation in and 
they identified what they wanted to submit for documentation for each credit. As I went back through those notes, I had realized that the very first thing on the top of the list was this a discussion of whether sustainable design would be used in this is, and how that would be incorporated. I was excited about it. I became excited about going through the process and seeing if we could get the hatchery certified. Fish Hatchery is, is receiving the rating because it has scored highly favorably in the application of the 60 separate credits to the project itself. Well, personally, I'm very proud of the way that uh, our entire staff worked so well with the design engineers, the construction team, and all of the various subcontractors. I have to say, of all the projects I've ever done in my life, and I've done everything from little sidewalk for the city of Austin to a project like this, this was the easiest project that I've ever had in my life, and it's the most complex and the largest by far. If you think about Alaska, um, hatcheries, what they're trying to accomplish, you know, for our environment, for our communities, it's a perfect project. We're just so proud here at HDR to be a part of it.